the scale of this place is incredible. The top of the gorge is so high above me. Look at that! There's sand as far as the eye can see. It feels like you're in the middle of a desert. We've made it to the top. Wow, this is a really good view. The kangaroos have multiplied overnight. We're now overrun with them. I don't think we'll be swimming in the sea. We're James and Amy, and we recently quit our jobs to travel for a year. A bit rainy. After spending three months in New Zealand, we're now in Australia. Join us as we road trip up the East Coast from Sydney to Cairns. Welcome to Australia. This is the second stop on our travel year after spending three months traveling around New Zealand in a camper van. We're here for the next two months and our plan is to spend six weeks traveling up the East Coast from Sydney to Cairns. We only had 36 hours in Sydney before we had to pick up our camper van. So we were determined to make the most of our time in the city and tick off as many touristy things as we could. We just got the ferry across to Manly. It was only 30 minutes and there were nice views of the Opera House and Harbour Bridge. It's not exactly beach day weather today, but we don't have long here in Sydney, so we're gonna make the most of it. We've just come down to Freshwater Beach, which is a little bit further north of Manly Beach. This was recommended by Amy's sister, Jen, who spent quite a bit of time in Sydney. And it's a very nice beach, except for the sharks. It's looking a bit grey now, so we're going to go find somewhere to have lunch. <laughs> what have you got? Vegan poke bowl. We're now back in the CBD and we've come out to get a drink from Batch Brewing Company. And whilst we were queuing to pay, two people forgot to bring their card with them, so we ended up with two free pints. <laughs> so now we've got four. Cheers. <laughs> it's gonna be a good night. <laughs> so we've come back to the Opera House to see it at night. And I feel like City is definitely one of those cities that looks its best at night. It looks so cool with everything lit up. It's our last morning in Sydney before we have to go and pick up our camper van. And the weather's looking amazing today. So we've come out to probably the most famous beach in the world, Bondi. We spent the morning watching the surfers before picking up our camper. There was still so much we wanted to see and do in Sydney, but we were excited to get out of the city and into nature. So after picking up our camper van here, <laughs> a fly literally landed on my nose. <laughs> after picking up our camper van yesterday, we drove out to the Blue Mountains, which is where we are now. My first experience of driving in Australia was very stressful. Just trying to get out of Sydney during rush hour was pretty intense. And it's only meant to take around 90 minutes to get to the Blue Mountains from Sydney, but it took us almost three hours just because of traffic. But yeah, very stressful compared to New Zealand. But we're here now, and I'm excited to go out and do some walks in the Blue Mountains. So this is our camper van for Australia. It's quite a bit older than Old Gold, and it really struggled on the uphills. Got ourselves a really nice spot parked under this eucalyptus tree. We've 
come to this lookout with really nice views out across the Blue Mountains. And the reason why they're called the Blue Mountains is because this forest is made of eucalyptus and the eucalyptus leaf actually has a slight blue tinge to it, especially when you look at it from a distance. So when you see these mountains far away, they actually look like they're blue. We've come out this morning to do a few shorter walks around the Katumba area. First we're going to head to a couple of lookouts and then we're going to go to Echo Point which is the most famous of the lookouts with really nice views of the Three Sisters. So those are the Three Sisters. We're now back at the campsite and I'm cooking up some veggie burgers on the barbecue. You can't come to Australia and not have a barbecue. This morning we've come out to do the Grand Canyon track, which is one of the most popular hikes in the Blue Mountains. It's a six kilometer loop and it's taken us down into this massive gorge. It's very cool so far, but it is humid today, which is why I am so sweaty. <laughs> The scale of this place is incredible. The sides of the gorge are so high above me. Look at that! So we just walked through that gorge and now we're on our way up, which will take us back to where we started. Such a nice walk but I think this bit's gonna be tough. We just got back from our walk and now we're making summer rolls for lunch. So these have got carrot, cucumber and tofu wrapped in them and they're wrapped in little rice paper. And then we've also got a soy sauce and peanut butter dipping sauce. Pop. Today we left the Blue Mountains and drove around four hours north to Shoal Bay in Port Stephens. We're going to be here for the next few days and the main thing that we want to do here is climb Tomaree Head, which is just behind me there. We want to climb it for sunrise though, so we're planning to do that in a couple of days when there's meant to be really nice clear weather. It's about five o'clock now, so we've just come for a stroll along Zenith Beach which is a really nice stretch of beach. The waves are huge though, so there's no swimming in here. We've got a bit of a rainy day forecast tomorrow. So our plan is to go to this park where there's meant to be a really good chance of spotting wild koalas. So I'm looking forward to that. It's so rainy outside and we just heard 
some thunder. So, looks like we're going to be stuck in the van for a while. It was raining pretty much all day yesterday, so we decided to postpone the koala hunt until today. So we've come to Tilligeri Habitat, which is about a 40 minute drive from where we're staying. And there's meant to be quite a large group of koalas living here. There's still not a huge chance of seeing them. Apparently the last sighting was on Sunday and today is Wednesday. So we may end up not seeing any, but it's still a really nice area and there's meant to be a lot of really nice birds here as well. But yeah, fingers crossed we get a koala. <laughs> So this tree behind me here is called a swamp mahogany. It's a type of eucalyptus tree and this is the reason why there are so many koalas in this area. Because the leaves from this tree are a koala's favourite food. So as we walk through this forest we just need to look up in these trees and hopefully we'll see one. No koalas, unfortunately, but we did see some very cool birds. Now we're going to head to Stockton Sand Dunes, which are not too far from here. We've come out to Stockton Sand Dunes, which are these enormous sand dunes near Barubi Beach. There's sand as far as the eye can see, so it feels like you're in the middle of a desert. It's very cool, except the beach is somewhere over there. We've decided to do the Tomary Head Summit for sunset today instead of sunrise. The sun is just starting to set behind me there and we're on our way up now. It's only around 160 meters to the top, but it's meant to be pretty steep. We just saw a kookaburra in the tree and it was so cute. <laughs> We've made it to the top. It only took us around 15 minutes. It wasn't too difficult at all. A bit sweaty though. <laughs> oh, it looks so nice. You see like a sandbar over there next to those two islands. The mountains in the distance. Wow, this is a really good view. <laughs> this is one of the most popular things to do in the Port Stephens area, coming up here and it wasn't too difficult so I highly recommend if you're coming here to do the Tomary Head Summit hike. So that's the view from one side and the other is where the sun is setting so we're gonna have a look at that now.
was such a nice sunset, but we've decided that we're gonna come back tomorrow for sunrise so that we can see it again in a different light. This whole bay in front of us was lit up, but on the other side, it was all in shade. So it'd be really nice to see that when the sun is coming up. back out for sunrise and it looks so different in this light. This whole area was in shade yesterday and now it's just been lit up by the morning light. It's so nice. We're now going to head back down to our campsite and have our breakfast and then we are leaving Port Stephens and going to Crowdy Bay National Park. We have arrived at our campsite in Crowley Bay. Here we go! But it was a bit of an ordeal to get here. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> Kangaroos have multiplied overnight. We're now overrun with them. We were warned that there might be snakes out today. So now I'm being <laughs> hyper vigilant. Every vine looks like a snake. We've arrived in Byron Bay. It's so nice here. 